Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about what is Lambda, Cold Start and Warm Calls. So to understand this video, the prerequisite is you have to, you, have, you should be aware of what is serverless computing and how Lambda works internally. If you don't know these, uh, the basics, you can, you could also go to my previous videos where I explained what is, what is serverless computing and how Lambda works internally. If you know these two topics, then it's easy to understand what is cold start and warm call. Let's go into the video. So what is AWS Lambda? In short, AWS Lambda is a compute service that lets you run code without you provisioning the managing or managing the servers. You don't have to worry about uh, managing your servers. You have to pay only, only whenever your code is executed. I already explained. Maybe I will show you a picture and then explain you how exactly it works. Okay. So if you look at the right hand side, what is a Lambda? Say you have a, a very small application like ticket booking or car booking application. Okay. There is a Lambda which can receive the request, process it and give a response to the user. Okay. So what happens whenever a user uh, loads your home page like car booking application home page. Okay. Now it might be running in AWS. Let me take an example for AWS. AWS is a cloud platform. Uh, it provides a lot of services and we are talking about AWS Lambda. So whenever there is a call comes to the platform, it lands the Lambda. You, you might have written the Lambda using C Sharp, Java, Kotlin, Node.js, Python, any language that you wish that is supported by AWS. Then what happens whenever the request comes, it loads the code, it loads your application code, on-demand execution happens, and then the response is, response is given. This is, this is what AWS Lambda is all about. You pay only for that particular execution compute cycle. You don't have to pay for the entire, like entire day or for the idle time. Okay, so you have to pay only for those CPU cycles. So this is basics about AWS Lambda. Now I will explain what is cold start and warm calls. Let me open the picture again. So in the left hand side, I have drawn a picture. You can see here. What is cold start and warm start, warm calls? So whenever uh, a user, you can look at the, the below part of this picture. For example, you are having a car booking application, okay? A user one does a booking, car booking at 8 a.m., okay? So first time user loads your application, car booking application. At that moment, cold start happens. First time a hit happens to the uh, cloud platform. So what other step happens here? You can see it downloads the cold code from the S3 bucket. It, it, set, it set up a container. That means a small VM with a runtime. It might be JVM. If you have written your code in Java Kotlin, if you have written in JavaScript, it might, it will be Node.js. So based on your code, based on your application language, it will set up the runtime and then it will initial, it will initialize and start your code. Okay. This is called as cold start. Okay. So whenever the first user loads the home page for the car booking, he wants to book a car. Okay. Then what happens? The Lambda started, the Lambda will be starting. That means it includes downloading the code. It will set up a small VM with the runtime it might be JVM. Let's take an example as JVM and then it will start your application. Then now the application is ready and it can process the request from the user one and he does the booking. So cold start is done. Okay. So this entire setup is called as cold start. It takes little extra time because it has to create a it has to create a container and then start the JVM as well. So it takes time. Now your application started, the, it is available in the memory. Now again, a user two wants to book a car. He logs in and op opens the home page at 8, 1 a.m. immediately after one minute. Okay. Now what happens? Your application is already available. It's already started. Just it has to execute the business logic and give the response back. Okay, which is called as warm call. Why it is warm? Because everything is ready. The server is ready. Okay, it has to just 
execute the code and give the proper response. So, so for the user 1, for example, the response time might be 5 seconds. For user 2, it will be less than 1 second. I can give you an example with my project. Okay, One of the projects I'm working, uh, we have the first time when, when they opened when a user opened the home page the, the the response time response time is 4 to 5 seconds which is really high okay and and the user second when immediately after the cold start if anyone calls okay or if anyone loads our home page it is less than a second it's very very fast because already the server is available and then the code is executed and given the response so very fast so for user 1 is more, user 2 is really fast, user 3 is also very fast because it's still, it's still warm. The server is, the lambda is live active, okay. Now after one hour, already the container is destroyed, your JVM is not more active, okay, it's already shut down. Now at user 4, what happens, what it does is at 9.53 a.m. He's, he wants to book a, another car. Okay, he wants to book a car. He launches the page again. A cold start happens because the because usually the container will be uh, available for five minutes. That that's what the document says. Okay, so after five minutes, all this setup like container setup, your code, your your JVM will be shut down. Okay, so that's why at 9:53 a.m. again a cold start happens. That means download the code. Container setup, initializing your JVM and your application is up and running. So for user 4, again, the response time will be little more. Okay. So user 4 and user 1 will see a difference in the response time, whereas user 2 and 3 will, will have very fast response. Okay. So this is what the difference between cold start and warm start. People really want always the lambda to be warm. It's a challenge actually there are multiple ways to make your lambda warm which i'm going to prepare in the upcoming videos i'll explain how can you make your lambda always warm so that your user request are served very fast okay so let me go to the text and explain you again so i talked about aws lambda in brief you have to pay only for the CPU cycles that you, you used, that your application used on demand execution that is called as AWS Lambda. And then cold start. Cold start means it has to download the code, first time execution. Please remember, cold start always happens whenever the first user, when he loads your application, okay? It downloads the code, your container is initialized and then your JVM or the Node.js will be started okay this is the cold start you can see the the combination okay and then what is warm call any subsequent calls after the lambda cold start is called as lambda warm call so the pattern would be first time a user loads that means cold start happens the server is getting ready then a lot of warm calls happens within five minutes and then after five minutes your your container is destroyed that means no more server available okay and then again a cold start happens because a new user comes and loads the page again after cold start subsequent warm calls happens okay so this is the difference between cold start and warm start warm call in the aws lambda this is the agenda i had in my mind if you have any questions please post your questions on the comments if you want to improve or if you have any suggestions on this video please post your suggestions uh, on the comment section if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to share it with your friends please share and subscribe to my channel because i'm going to post more technical videos thank you so much for your time and all the best for your career thank you